It's early morning and the injured are already arriving at the Khazir camp. Omar lives in the Al Zahra neighborhood. He thought, with ISIL fighters gone, it was safe to go out and get some milk for his baby girl. That's when the mortar round slammed into the street and shrapnel tore through his body. We live in fear, really. Our area is supposed to be liberated, but we keep coming under fire, and it's the children that are killed. So far, Iraqi counter-terrorism units have retaken 12 out of the 152 neighborhoods in Mosul. But even where the fighters are gone, civilians remain in range of mortar and sniper fire, and the city hospitals are out of reach. Ahmed does not want to show his face. His shoulder is infected, but he needs to return to Mosul because his wife and one-year-old child are still there. We were standing near the gate of my home. We first saw a drone filming us. About half an hour after, our seat came under mortar attack. Others also told us that ISIL is using drones like this one, left behind in one of the houses occupied by the fighters. For them, it's a signal that an attack is imminent. The less critical cases are given treatment in the camp, but there are also many life-threatening ones. They are transported, often by the military, and handed over to the paramedics along the road to Erbil. Extracting the wounded is the most difficult part. Some of them have to wait for hours, if not even overnight, before getting any kind of help. And when they arrive here, you get a sense of what they've been through. Some of them have this strong smell of gunpowder on them. Throughout the morning, we saw a steady stream of injured ferried here. Most of them had been waiting for at least 24 hours before they were rescued. This man's daughter didn't survive. My daughter is dead. She was 16. Her body's under the rubble. Send ambulances. There are many injured. The army can't cope, he says, adding, I wish I had died instead. His son, still under shock, begs, please, dad, don't. Another man laments in a weak voice, my daughters are dead. Sometimes they die before we can do anything. They lose too much blood. The wounds get infected. We have received many people who were unconscious and we couldn't save them. Most of the one million living in the city are still out of reach. The ones who made it here all come from recaptured neighborhoods. And if they were relieved when the army arrived, they are now paying the price for that short-lived moment of hope. Hud Abdelhamid, Al Jazeera, Eastern Mosul.